Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again for our time together. It's a beautiful Monday morning. You're going to have a great week. Right now, I and Pastor Pugadora and Pastor Claude and Jong, and we've got a team of folks down in Davao. We're having a great pastor's conference. We'll be home in just a couple of days, but I want to teach you just a little bit today out of 2 Corinthians chapter 34, beginning with verse 1. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in the ways of his father David, not turning aside to the left or to the right. Now look at verse 3. In the eighth year of his reign, so he's 16 years old. In the eighth year of his reign, 16 years old, while he's still young, he began to seek the God of his father. Now, personal revival in this young man's life started in his 16th year. Now continue. In his 12th year, so now he's 20 years old, in his 12th year, he began to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places, Asherah poles, carved idols, and cast images. Now look on down to verse 8. In the 18th year of Josiah's reign, he's 26 years old, now he begins to purify the entire land and the temple. Now notice the stages of leadership into revival. It starts with personal revival in our heart as a leader first. As a leader first, we begin to seek God. And then as we develop our spiritual lives, then we use our leadership position to challenge other people right around us. It was just Jerusalem and surrounding areas right around us to begin to follow God. And then we take revival far away from our personal lives. We, we begin to influence people far away from us. But these are the stages of how revival flows. First, We seek God and God changes us. Then we work on those right around us. Then we take it farther. Those are the steps of revival. 